What's the story behind the, the curation? Um, so personally, as an artist, I started working on the theme of impermanence since about 2021. Um, and was getting myself more and more familiar with uh, the five remembrance in Buddhism, but also the momentum mori in Christianity, about going back to dust. And um, personally, it was always those five remembrance which are written behind me uh, in English by myself and in Chinese by my mother that had a huge grasp on me. I would often cry reading them. And um, my mom used to be uh, studying history of art. And as a child, you see that actually a lot of artwork kind of touch that sense of impermanence. Uh, that is in French, you say the nature morte, where you see the decay of the flowers or the skulls. Um, and um, being living here next to Plum Village uh, was for me what was really important was also uh, looking and finding artists that had a real practice that you could feel that their practice around meditation and their spirituality, spirituality uh, was really present in their work. Um, and so throughout the years, I got to meet artists that live around the region, uh, such as Max Pugh, Pass Perlman, uh, Luke Waring. And um, I really wanted to create an exhibition that would touch the type of art I believe is really needed um, in a sense of giving us a direction, giving us meaning and holding us while going through the storm. Uh, we're experiencing a moment of meaning crisis where the values we grew up with have only carries us so far and we really struggle to have a vision for the future. And um, I believe artists can play a huge role and art can play a huge role in allow us to confront our cognitive dissonance, uh, our attachment, uh, and to mourn together. And um, so in, the, in January 2024, 20, my father passed away and I thought that the best way to honor him and for me to go through this process, but also to live the life I really wanted, because in a way for many years I had been taking care of him and not always maybe exploring my art as much as I wanted was, well, now is time. Now is time to really honor that. And um, so the idea was to create an exhibition uh, around that theme, bring artists from uh, that had that practice. Uh, and, um, and also to do a magazine alongside it in order to be able to reach out to a greater audience. And so we are here today where you see the marvelous artwork from different artists that all touch in different dimension, that sense of impermanence. And I hope it helps people feel held in order to be with the impermanent nature of reality.